Hi, we're Ferris and Lisa. We love to travel internationally, but this year, we're changing a few things. I just bought it. We quit our jobs and bought a van. Follow us along as we road trip North America. Today is our travel day. We are currently up on the last dollar road right outside of Telluride. But we're gonna go all the way around, past Ridgeway, then we're gonna go to Ure, down the million dollar highway, all the way down to Durango. So that's our travel day, and it's supposed to be pretty epic. So I'm excited for this one, and you're gonna see how we travel. Day in the life. This is where we stayed last night. Every morning we start with a walk at around 8 a.m. so we can make sure we get outside, stretch our legs, especially on a long travel day. I actually really don't want to leave this spot because it's so nice. I'm just on top of the world right now. Travel day means we need to be fueled up. So I got a little coffee for Lisa. I got myself some oats. A little peanut butter. <laughs> My favorite, it's a little dessert in the morning for me. And now the text is behind her. Now I'm going to undo that just to show you. All right, and our travel day begins. All right, so right now we're on the last dollar road. It's a free camping road up at the top. It's only open January through May, and it's through a bunch of mountains and farmland. There's cows. It's beautiful. But now we're headed to Ridgeway. We made it to Ridgeway now. So normally we use the app Compendium or iOverlander to find water. Usually dump stations, they have free water. Um, but if we can't find anything, we usually pull up to a gas station and just ask if we can use their water, and they usually just say yeah. We still have maybe like a half tank full of fresh water, but you just never know, especially around here, when you're gonna get a free fill up. All right, we just topped off our water tank, so now we're gonna head from Ridgeway to Ure, but we got some snacks first. Got some strawberries. Crackers. We made it to Ure. It's super, super pretty. It's another mountain town with a cool, kind of a Western vibe. A little bit more up northy feel than Telluride, but really, really awesome. Tons of Jeep tours, breweries, and things to do. We just stopped on the side of the highway just to get a nice view. Good view. Still eating crackers. All right, we just passed through Ure. Now we're headed to Silverton. All right, we finally made it to the Million Dollar Highway. The highway was built in 1926 and it got its nickname because it cost a million dollars to build. It connects Ure to Silverton to Durango. There are rumors that it's called the Million Dollar Highway because it has million dollar views or travelers wouldn't pay a million dollars to travel this highway in 1926. Just made it to Silverton. It looks really, really cool. It's like a very westerny vibe, so we can't wait to explore. But first, we're gonna make some lunch in the van. So we we're making Ferris a burrito, and then I'm gonna have a quinoa bowl. So we have some cut up veggies, and then we already grilled some chicken. Just made it to Silverton. We're gonna walk around. There's some pretty cool things here. And I hear they have Rocky Mountain oysters. Wonder what those are. The 
train runs from Durango to Silverton. It will stop in Silverton for two hours so you can get out, do a bunch of things in the town, which it's a pretty cool town. We've just been walking around it. Then you hop back on the train and it'll take you back to Durango. Pretty awesome, but the prices are pretty steep. A little bit steeper than what we'll probably do for us. It's about $100 a ticket, so, but cool experience if you're in here. So we're at this restaurant called The Handlebars, and they're known for these Rocky Mountain oysters. I'm not sure where they get their oysters from. They're really big, so of course we had to give them a try. And they come with barbecue sauce. It's an odd mixture. They haven't really tasted like oysters at all. Those are... Testicles. Yeah, so thank you, my wife. Stop. Stop. Really chewy. That explains why they're so big. I'm a fan. I'm done with both testicles. They're not that bad, but I'm done. Those things were a little salty and slimy for my like. I think that's the last time I'm having some bull testicles. Off to Durango now. We just got finished with Silverton, just ate some testies. So if you guys enjoyed us eating some testies, make sure to subscribe because who knows, maybe we'll eat testies again. All right, now we're off to Durango. It wouldn't be a travel day if we didn't have to fill old Tina up. And it wouldn't be a travel day if I didn't have to pee for the thousandth time. <laughs> As we're traveling from Silverton, which is at a higher elevation, to Durango, which is at a lower elevation, we're seeing a huge heat increase and we're really feeling it. It's gone up about 12 degrees and now we're sweating hard. So we're at the Durango City Market because we really, really need some groceries. As you can see, our refrigerator is basically empty. So City Market is a cheaper grocery store, so we're gonna stack up. We only have uh, about 10 more days before we fly home, so we're counting our yogurts and making sure that we don't buy too much because then we have to turn off our van and let everything defrost. So that's what we're gonna do. We got our haul in, pretty good haul, $80. We still got some stuff in there. So we just gotta be real strategic. We don't want anything to rot. I don't like the waste. We don't like the waste. So often when we have long drives, I try and get some work done just because the drives take up pretty much a majority of the day and it's really hard to get stuff done when you're just moving all the time. So this is a good opportunity to use a Wi-Fi hotspot and load some videos. Got to our campsite for the night. It's in the San Juan National Forest on the Pedro River. Pretty nice, there was a few people that were parked that way. Um, had a few nice uh, camp spots, but it seems like there's a few more right here with fire rings. So I was gonna say I have a fire, but it looks like it's starting to rain on me right now. <laughs> we gotta get this camera back inside. There's a river, I was gonna check that out, but not if it's raining on me. What are you doing? So normally when we're in a campsite, I will cook outside, but because it is raining, we're gonna cook in here. We put our stove top, it normally comes in this drawer, but we moved it to this bottom shelf in the pantry, and I put it in an old computer bag so it doesn't break. So it stopped raining for a bit. I'm gonna pull up the camp chair. I'm gonna have a little fire going. While Lisa's cooking right now, in that grub. It's gonna be a nice little, nice little afternoon to a travel day. All right, dinner's ready. Taco bar is open and it stopped raining, so we're gonna chill and eat outside. Taco night. <laughs> but it's Monday. Early Taco Tuesday. Taco Tuesday on a Monday. Taco Tuesday on a Monday. Ooh, ooh, I like this. <laughs> Taste test numero uno. Let's go. Mm. If this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out, Lisa's got a job in making tacos for sure. She can be a taco truck lady. Mm. Mm. Mm.
It's 1045 now. Ferris is dead. His contacts are out so you can't really see. Retainer in. I think we're ready for bed. But hey, thanks for joining our travel day. Hope you guys have fun. We sure had fun. <laughs> it's been such a long day though. But if you like this video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Good night.